time frame, the Negro time frame. Quick, fast. I want y'all to really pay attention to this. I said it in one of my other videos. Like I say, I got to be the mother of rep repetition. I got to be the mother of repetition. Uh, when we came over here, them slave ships, this ain't going to be no whole slave commentary. I want you to pay attention to Father Time. Let's go back into the, the time, the, the Stargate. If if we wasn't enslaved and tricked by our kingdomhood, which was over in Africa, that sold us into slavery, I'm going to tell you something. Ain't that interesting? We'd be probably the dominant people of the planet Earth still. But that by that slavery, that messed up the time frame of the Negro. Vietnam, no one won. It was, a, it was a waste of time. And a lot of people died for absolutely nothing. Again, war brings money. Y'all want to talk about Illuminati? The, the documentaries show you this. War brings money, and that's the way it is. But let me tell you something. I'm going to get into the inner core of that. All them black soldiers, majority of them came back in the Vietnam era, era, excuse me, when they came back in the 60s and all that Woodstock stuff was going on, they came back with drug addiction. They came back with, they was heroin addicts, majority of them. That's what started the heroin culture within the major cities and everything across the United States and the suburbs. Father time, they destroyed our, they destroyed our time frame as a Negro again. That's, 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 that's two strikes now. Two strikes. That was during the era of the 60s on down to the 70s and what have you. Now let's get down to Soulsville. Another Negro time frame destruction continuum. Uh, the crack academic. Three strikes you out. 30 years. 30 years. Right up until now. And now we got a fourth strike going on. This new generation. But during the 80s, it was a surge of crack. It was freebasing. Then they, then they, then they, the chemists got into those, some, some, some chemists or what have you, drug chemists knew how to make that powder into rock cocaine. That's when the crack epidemic came. First they was freebasing. Then they turned into something else. That's why you, you know, you, you watch your documentaries of free ray free free ray uh free way ricky ross and maxine waters and the and, and the and the, uh, um i forgot what they call it the maxine water papers it's something like that well you can look up her name during that time when that stuff was gone going in the paint to speak when free when free i can't really get tongue-tied bear with me i just woke up this morning Freeway, Ricky Ross stepped on the scene. Not the real Rick Ross. I mean, not the not the not the not the fake Rick Ross, the real Rick Ross. But anyway, he's he's reformed. He's he's writing books. God bless that brother. He's he's teaching and inspiring. See, this is job brothers need to be talking about. So I'm sending kudos to him. Here's a man who took the bait. Is responsible for selling drugs all over the freeway. That's why he got that nickname. And he he got hit, and other people didn't. He took the fall. He's still here, and he's trying to turn it around. That's what y'all should be talking about. But y'all too focused on the, the glamorous things and all that. Don't you know death come with that and destruction? Man trying to give us some hope, trying to give our youngins some hope, because that's not a glamorous life. It destroys lives, it destroys households, it destroys intermediate families. Yep. Another destruction of timeline. Now we have this gangster rap, we have this recording industry that's promoting violence, murder through, through, through propaganda, and pro, you know, 
through mind control. Now we have these these uh, upruly people with picket signs. We got an onslaught of young men and women putting their guns up on the internet, talking about killing high authority and officials within the U.S. government and police coming to their house. We got, we still got a lot of black women kill, killing their own babies. Only a certain amount of black women, okay, black men. So don't jump out there. We got men doing the same. Child abuse is at an all-time high because the families got dysfunctionality in it. I can go on and on about the problem. See how it gets? It becomes like a blues show. It becomes sad. It becomes heartbreaking. We got to reconstruct that time frame. See, every time slavery was a major blow and it set us back. That's what I'm trying to tell you. By the masses. It set us back. Vietnam set us back as black folks. It, it set us back. The crack academic set us back. By the masses. It affected all families all over the world. All over the United States. And we are suffering still over the repercussions of the crack academic now. Because it's been like two or three generations now. You know, I grew up right in the midst of the crack academic, okay? I grew up in it, born in 70, grew all through the 80s, through the 90s, and all that. Now it's, now it's 2000, so I grew up in the shit, you know? That's why I can't really talk about these young males to a certain extent, because I've been through that door, and I escaped and turned my life around. So what they doing, I've been there and done that. My thing is this. We need to inspire them as OGs now and teach them the right way instead of the wrong way. Teach them the right way instead of the wrong way. But we steady on here, old as a motherfucker, talking about uh, tennis shoes and just childish shit. Beefing with each other's channels, roasting and cracking on each other's family members and Talking about how a motherfucker look and this, that, and third. What's that, man? What's that going to do? Man, what is your purpose? So they see that. They're like, oh, man. There's no hope. I can't learn off of this guy. This guy, he act like us. And they don't respect you. You old dudes to try to act like them, they don't respect you, just like the women. It's time, it, you know, it's a time to hang your boots up at a certain period of time of your life. You can't go back. You're in your 40s, you can't go back to your early 20s. You, you, you in your, you in your uh, 20s, you can't go back when you're 16. You see how this goes? I, the numbers. When you're, thir when you're in your 30s, you can't go back to your early 20s and all this. You got to grow up. You got to grow up one fucking day. You got to grow the fuck up. And that's what I see. I see a lot of immature people that are saying dumb shit on, on, on some of my videos. And I hear other guys, you know, complaining about the same shit. The same shit. Excuse me. But I'm going to tell you something, man. Y'all keep doing you. Stop worrying about them. Those are children. They may be grown, but they're children in the mind. And it's a sad thing. Because... This is why we got a lot of problems in the black community because we got a lot of adults that's functionally, functionally not developed upstairs, which is the mind. They still got childish thoughts. And you, if you got childish thoughts, that's going to be your results as an adult. And people out in the society going to treat you like you present yourself. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. If you ain't, if you ain't serious, they ain't going to treat you like you serious. If you serious, they're going to respect you because they know you ain't bullshitting. You feel me? People know. You don't have to say nothing. They know how you, they know your walk. You know? You play around, you, you, that's all they're going to do, play around with you. It's like you sisters. You expect men to respect you and you dressing like you want to uh, 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 advertise to the world. So you telling me. As a, as a real black alpha male, I can't holler at you and you wearing stuff that's so re, so revealing, you make my nature rise and I don't pose to say nothing. I don't pose to acknowledge you in a certain way or, or think 
or uh, or think about you you in a certain way. Let me tell you something, sisters, for your own benefit. I'm not built like that, but other men is. You got sexual deviants out here, de deviants. And unfortunately, they don't have no restraint. They can't take it. You out here isolated, and you look like you trying to give it up to the whole world or whatever, wearing revealing stuff. You know that you know what's gonna come next, and y'all and y'all wonder why that shit happened to you, because. People look on the outside. You may be, uh, you may not even be a hoe, but they don't know because the way you dress. But again, that comes from who's the mother? Who taught her? Each one teach one. We need some more spirituality in these homes. We need some more fathership. We need some more mothership to raise these young young women and men to grow up as productive citizens. And tell them everything is not for everybody. And it's a certain time you do shit. Okay? Some of y'all act like y'all, you know, in y'all bedroom somewhere. Y'all come out with y'all bedroom clothes and all this. And don't expect for no man to jump on you and mount your ass. You got brothers out here, they don't care. So you just asking for it. You know? That's all I'm saying. But I ain't up here to, to, to demean and that's not even bashing. I'm just telling y'all, be careful. Be careful. Be careful what you do out here. Because some people ain't going to see it like other people, you know? So, I don't know. I think I'm about to end this, y'all. In a minute. Because it's morning time. I got to get my coffee on and get some wake up. So I got to bring out some more luscious videos. There's going to be more to come today. Yeah. It's a lot, folks. It's a lot. It's a lot. There's always going to be a lot I got to speak about. Got to stay strong. Got to stay vigilant. And we got to stop. We got to stop. We got to stop. Letting people destroy our time frame as Negroes. Okay? And all those incidents I talked about, they was major. Because they stopped a lot. Of, they prevented us from a lot of stuff. War, drugs, and deception and sabotage of the black race. Drugs held us back. It's still holding us back. Black on black crime is still holding us back to a certain extent. All this negative stuff in the mu music industry is destroying, is still destroying our time frame. And the dysfunctional activity on social media now is destroying our time frame. People actually getting killed over social media beefs. People, wake up. Wake up.